Once upon a time in a distant land, there was a beautiful princess named Lysandra. She was known throughout the kingdom for her beauty, intelligence, and grace. As a young woman, Lysandra was eager to explore her desires and experience the world. She had heard whispers of a mysterious and handsome man named Darius, who was rumored to have the most pleasurable touch of any lover in the kingdom. One night, Lysandra decided she must meet this man and taste the delights he had to offer. She dressed in her finest gown and went to the village where Darius was said to live. When she found his home, she knocked on the door, her heart pounding with anticipation. Darius opened the door, and Lysandra was taken aback by his rugged good looks and strong, muscular build. She could feel her desire growing, but her reaction surprised her. Darius looked at her with a mixture of lust and fear, but ultimately he refused her advances. He told her that he was a simple man and could not be involved with a princess. Lysandra was devastated by his rejection. Her ego bruised, she returned to the castle, vowing to take revenge on Darius for spurning her. She concocted a plan to ruin him and have him executed for treason. Lysandra told her father, the king, that Darius had made advances on her and that he was a threat to her virtue and the kingdom's security. The king, furious, ordered Darius to be arrested and brought to the castle to face trial. As the trial began, Lysandra sat in the courtroom, relishing her power over Darius. She lied, telling the court that Darius had tried to seduce her and take advantage of her royal status. The court believed her, and Darius was sentenced to death. On the day of his execution, Darius was sent to the town square to be beheaded. Lysandra, watching from a window in the castle, felt a twinge of guilt but pushed it away, convinced that she was justified in her actions. However, as Darius walked to the scaffold, he turned to face the castle and locked eyes with Lysandra. At that moment, something shifted within her. She saw the fear and resignation in his eyes, and for the first time she truly understood the weight of her actions. The once confident and powerful princess felt a wave of guilt and shame wash over her. She realized that her desire for vengeance had consumed her, and she had become a slave to her own ego. As Darius was about to be executed, he looked at Lysandra one last time, his eyes filled with sadness and a hint of forgiveness. Just before the executioner's axe fell, Darius whispered a single word that echoed through the square. Forgiveness. The moment he died, a bolt of lightning streaked across the sky, and a loud thunderclap shook the ground. The people in the square were stunned, and Lysandra felt a profound sense of loss and regret. She knew that she had lost more than just Darius. She had lost a part of herself. Over the next few days, word of Darius's execution and his final word, forgiveness, spread throughout the kingdom. The people were confused and upset, wondering why the king would order the execution of an innocent man. Protests began in the streets, calling for the king to step down and for Lysandra to be held accountable for her actions. The king, realizing the depth of his mistake, confronted Lysandra, demanding to know the truth. Lysandra, broken by guilt and grief, confessed everything, including her own feelings of desire and rejection. She admitted that she had lied about Darius's advances and had manipulated the court to have him executed. The king, heartbroken by his daughter's deceit, knew that he must make amends. He ordered the immediate release of Darius's body and organized a grand funeral to honor Darius's memory. The people of the kingdom attended the funeral, mourning the loss of an innocent man and vowing to never forget Lysandra's betrayal. In the years that followed, the story of Lysandra and Darius became a cautionary tale, taught to children to warn them of the dangers of unchecked desire and the consequences of seeking vengeance. The lesson resonated throughout the kingdom and beyond as the story of Lysandra and Darius reached far and wide. The princess, once revered for her beauty and grace, became a symbol of regret and the destructive power of revenge. Her name was whispered with a mix of pity and scorn, a reminder to all who heard it of the consequences of letting desire and ego cloud one's judgment. Despite the notoriety of her actions, 
Lysandra did not escape her past entirely. She spent the rest of her life trying to atone for her sins, dedicating herself to charity and good works in an effort to make amends for the harm she had caused. She founded a hospital and a school, using her wealth and influence to help those in need. As the years turned into decades and the decades into centuries, the story of Lysandra and Darius continued to be passed down through generations. It became a legend, a part of the fabric of the kingdom's history, and a reminder to all of the importance of forgiveness and the consequences of vengeance. Even today, the tale of the princess who sought revenge and the man who forgave her from the gallows is remembered. It serves as a testament to the power of love, forgiveness, and redemption, and a cautionary lesson to all who seek to follow a path of justice and righteousness. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.